All right, so I'm going to do a quick overview of the weekly maintenance on the Cobus 6000. Um, everybody, uh, I believe Cobus gives these out, or Roche rather, everyone should have these sheets for their maintenance logs. Um, so we're going to be looking at the weekly. That's the 601, and then we also have the 501. Um, now, if you forget any uh, steps or the things you're supposed to use, each of the um, clean like cell covers, it'll have a number at the top of it, like number three, and if you go down to this little um, instructional area down here, it says that number three is to clean with alcohol. So it reminds you what you're supposed to use, whether it's DI water, alcohol, or whatever. Um, there's a couple things you need for the weekly maintenance. Um, for the 601 side, you need to have PCCC reservoirs, which you should have. You need two of them. And then you also need, let's see if I can grab it, look it through my iPad here. You also need 2% Ecoturge, and you are going to need some DI water. Now, starting with the 501, the first thing you want to do is you're going to clean cell covers, and you're going to do that with alcohol. Now, the cell covers are these little guys here. You're going to clean the uh, top and the bottoms of these two cell covers, um, although we usually clean them every day because they get dirty rather fast. Um, the next step is going to be your rinse stations, and that's what you're going to use the Eco Turge and the DI water for. Um, we have those little squeeze bottles, but we also have syringes, so you can measure out the 50 mLs. Um, so you're going to clean rin these rinse stations. So this rinse station for the ISC, uh, this rinse station for the probe, that rinse station, and then you're going to do the um, sample probe rinse station. So you're going to do 50 mLs of 2% uh, Ecoturge followed by 50 ml of deionized water. And lastly, on the 601 side, you're going to um, clean the ISC bath. Um, now this is the ISC bath here. Uh, typically, you're going to move the ISC sipper probe out of the way, and you're going to unscrew these. And then the um, bath itself comes out. Let's see if I can do this in a non-awkward way. They do have to be careful with the, um, the bath because it is a ceramic material. So after you get your screws undone, you can pull this out and then the bath will just come right out. And um, you want to clean the inside of it out with DI water. Um, there's actually little notches that guide you when you put it back in here and here so that you get it in the exact position that it needs to be. Now you don't want to tighten these on too um, tightly because you want to try and avoid um, cracking it. Okay, so I got it back in there. It's not too tight, not too loose. Probes back. That takes care of our 501. And before we do the 601, uh, which I've already done, this, but you want to go to your utility and then maintenance and then you want to put it on a manual cleaning and I've already done that just for the interest of time so remove our cover all right so I'm just gonna go step by step here so step one is going to uh, clean the PCC reservoir fill nozzles. Um, so move the zippers out of the way. Okay, so the nozzles they're talking about are these ones right here. And you can do that easiest by pulling it up. And you can clean that with uh, whatever it recommends. I think it's DI water. Um, also on here you have to replace the PCC reservoirs, which is what I showed you earlier, and that's these. They just come right out. And you would throw those away, put the new ones in, and you can clean out um, this reservoir position. Um, it tends to f 
get a little grimy pretty quick. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, and then, um, okay, so the mixer, separation stations, and incubator are all similar. You're pretty gonna much look for debris in any of the holes, and you're gonna clean it with a Q-tip or some other device that'll fit down there. Okay, and then we have the Vortex uh, microbead mixer. Um, you want to be really gentle when you clean the microbead mixer. You want to try and not bend it. And then, let's see, okay, and then the rinse stations. Like the 501, you're going to use 2% eco turge to clean all of the rinse stations. And then that little guy there. And then you're going to follow that with 50 ml of DI water. Okay, so after you're done doing your maintenance over there, you need to come back to the computer screen, and you're going to have to cancel the maintenance. So, okay, and that'll go ahead and that'll put you back in standby. Sorry, that's a little out of focus there. So once that goes out of standby, then you, um, assuming you've done your daily and everything, can go ahead and bring the machine back up, and then you can go ahead and run your weekly pipe. And that is about it. Thanks for watching.